Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Warriors. I'm the Naked Athlete, and this is the first eight kilometers. So last time I told you that this episode was going to be about the Hillcrest Aid Center and uh, things don't always go according to plan. Instead I'm bringing you the first eight kilometers of the Comrades. Now it's a tough first eight kilometers. Now I understand that there are marathons that go through deserts and the Antarctic and there are some pretty tough marathons around. But think about this. The toughest Arguably, the toughest road marathon you'll ever run is the first 42 kilometers of Comrades Uprun. It's 35 kilometers of climbing. Let's start the journey to the point where you see 80 kilometers to go. Mm. That's right, 80 kilometers to go after you finish this bit. Let's have a look. So let's start our journey in the middle of Durban. On the left you see the city hall and the museum and that sort of thing. And on the right uh, you see the clock tower of the post office. Actually that's not really what it'll look like on the morning. Let me show you what it'll look like on the morning. inland away from the sea. Okay, this is going to look a little weird because as you see, um, this is a one-way street and uh, the only way I could do this was backwards. Oh, there's someone walking backwards too. Now, although, although this is broad daylight, um, on the day, on the morning at 5.30 in midwinter, it's very dark here. A lot of people have these um, black plastic jackets that they put on and things like that and they just cast them off because Durban's actually not that cold. Uh, oh, there's another guy going backwards. So along here, it's pretty treacherous. There's uh, a lot of um, cat size on the road and you really are running in very, very dark condition. Now at this next intersection we're going to take a, a right turn and uh, head towards the freeway. Um, yeah, as you see we're going around to the right and then short way up here we're going to go to the left. The left wasn't a very good uh, video here because I had to swap over from going backwards to going forwards. There we are. Now we went around the left corner and we're heading up towards the Berea. It's all pretty, pretty flat at the moment. There's a slight gradient, but nothing to worry about. Um, at this stage you're feeling very fresh and very excited and you just want to go. Hold back on that thought. The main thing about this first part of the journey is caution. Caution is paramount. As you can see, the, start, the climbing has started already.
after a few little uh, ups and downs, then we're going to start our climb up towards toll gate. Initially, the, the comrades didn't include this hill because they thought that it was too uh, steep and too long to include in a 90 kilometer run. But we, we do it these days, we're tougher now. Here you can see this, the climb has started. You've got to be very cautious up here. Um, people are running slowly, some people start to walk at this stage. You're running up behind people and they're going too slow, so you want to dodge around them. Be cautious of this. Every person you step around is, is doubling your distance that you have to run. You can see the climb is, is quite steep. The toll gate, will come, the toll gate bridge will come into view. I'm assuming that was a toll gate at some stage. Um, it hasn't been since I've been in this country. There it is, you can just see the arch there of the toll gate. Now this is quite a steep hill. I don't think this video is doing it justice. Coming down, it's excruciating coming down this part. After running down through all those kilometers, to go down this little hill can be deadly on the legs. So you, as you crest this hill, you start, um, start a, a slight descent. And at this point, it's very easy to get carried away and start running a little and, and it's really not the time. Oh, and don't forget our hacked fact at the end. Um, yeah, interesting facts coming for you. Remember that you're going to be feeling fresh, the morning will be cool and uh, you can really start putting foot if you want to, but don't. It's critical that you hold back. You should never, ever get to the point in the first half of the comrades where you're breathing heavy. If you start breathing heavy, pull back. This is the um, turning off to Janssen's Highway. Uh, Nice little dip down here, and then we turn right, and the ascent starts again. Again, at no stage along here should you ever be breathing heavy. It's really a time to just run within yourself. You've got a long way to go. And a slight relief here from the, from the uphill. This is probably going to be fairly lonely. There will be people out on the road, but not a lot. It's still early in the morning and probably will be still dark at this stage. It's easy in a car, isn't it? Again, we've got this nice downhill stretch. Don't be lured into, into running fast. It'd be a big mistake. Right, so you've reached this far. Um, you're about 25% of your way up the ascent, and uh, you've still got a long way to go. Now let's listen to our hacked fact. 
There are currently 7.2 million South Africans living with HIV. That's approximately 19% of our population living with HIV. Thank you.